Welcome to the sound design tutorial for our stop motion project and we're going to do this in one of two ways. One we're going to use Soundtrack Pro to craft a sound and the other one we're going to directly import sounds that are loaded with our Final Cut Studio software onto our hard drive and we can import them directly to Final Cut Pro. So if I click on Final Cut Pro uh, it's the standard import function file import files or command I so command I will bring up this dialog box and we can use the search box and search on the Mac's hard drive to find audio files so I'm gonna look up buzz for my light bulb sound and if I change this to show sound files it will show only sound files and it looks like I have a whole bunch of .caf which is a core audio file an uncompressed audio file, another version of um, audio file that you can um, load in directly into Final Cut Pro or Soundtrack Pro and that's those are the file types that are um, loaded on the DVDs when you install Final Cut Studio. So I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of these and shift click down to the bottom and then I'm going to choose them and now they should end up in my browser and I could audition them by double clicking and listening and that sounds kind of cool. Uh, might be a little bit too big, but you know, I'll go with that, and I'll grab that and drag that down to the timeline. Now you'll see waveforms here, and the waveforms you can bring up if you click on this little sub menu, show audio waveforms. That should be checked off. If it's not, then you won't see them. It'll just be a blank block. So we want that checked off. And because it's a core audio file and we're not set to that file format, it's asking me to render audio. That's what that red line is. So I'm going to Command R, render the audio. And then now I should be able to play this back without any problems here. And hit space bar. And that actually worked, and I'll play that again because you didn't get a chance to see it here. If we jump back to the top of the timeline and hit play. So there's just a couple frames on the timeline and then a sound effect. So we've met the requirement for sound design and the, the stop motion um, changing from frame to frame a little bit different in... Um, incremental movement and in this case we did it with uh, the lens and not so much moving an object so um, the other way let, let's say we don't like this sound we can use soundtrack pro first thing I'm going to do is file save my project in my C drive on my folder and name it with the date 1 10 12 and the last name always on every file and we're going to call this sound design stop motion and save it and that went into the right folder and now I can use the browser area down here to search for sound effects and I can go and find my buzz and Let's go with the swell buzz. Swell buzz, it's a bit too much. So I'm going to go down and let's go with tidal buzz whoosh. That's the one I'm looking for, and I'll drag that up to the timeline. And it's close to what I'm looking for, but I wanted to maybe pitch it and make it sound a little different. So if I go to the effects tab, I can go into the pitch for this track the track's called title buzz whoosh it says it right here you gotta make sure you're on the right track when you're applying the effect but in effects tab pitch pitch shifter and click this plus button and it adds it to this track so if I wanted to mix the sound with the pitched sound and the original sound I could do it like that and if I play it you'll hear it and this is without it at all And now this is 100% the new pitch. So it's pitching up quite a bit. We're actually going to drop that down and pitch it down. And I'm going to set up a loop in this case. So you can hear it over and over again. 
I'm gonna drag this up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. It sounds a little distorted, so it's too much. I'm gonna go here. Okay, that's the buzz I want. And then what I can do here is take what I've created by applying a little bit of effects to it and export this file. So um, as of right now, it's set to go out the submix, and the submix is sur set to surround sound, and you're not going to see it there. You'll see it here. Submix outputting 1-6. We want to change that to stereo and have this be a stereo file that we're exporting, and we'll say file export and you're gonna put this in your stop motion folder and I'm gonna call this buzz pitch and then I am going to export the master mix the AIFF file and click export and this is exporting the mix if I go into the finder you can see it on the C drive in my folder and here is buzz pitch that I just exported and I'll import that into Final Cut Pro to work. Command I is import and we're looking for the C drive, stop motion, buzz pitched, choose and then I'd be able to take that and drag that to my timeline to build on the sounds that are already here. If we watch it back So that's a combination of two sound effects now.